everyone. And welcome to the celebration of our Eucharist. And we begin our celebration today in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the conrad of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us into everlasting life. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you. We bless you. We adore you. We glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. You alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, grant that we may always conform our will to yours and serve your majesty in sincerity of heart. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord to his anointed Cyrus, whose right hand I grasp, subduing nations before him, and making kings run in his service opening doors before him, and leaving the gates unbared. For the sake of Jacob, my servant, of Israel, my chosen one, I have called you by your name, giving you a title, though you knew me not. I am the Lord, and there is no other. There is no God besides me. It is I who arm you, though you know me not so that for the rising and the setting of the sun, people may know that there is none besides me. I am the Lord, there is no other. The word of the Lord. Amen. Thanks be to God. Give the Lord glory and honor. Give the Lord glory and honor. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you land. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Give the Lord glory and honor. For great is the Lord, and highly to be praised. Awesome is he beyond all gods. For all the gods of the nations are things of naught, but the Lord made the heavens. Give the Lord glory and honor. Give to the Lord new families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Bring gifts and enter his courts. Give the Lord glory and praise. Worship the Lord in holy attire. Tremble before him all the earth. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He governs the people with equity. Give the Lord glory and honor. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. Paul, Silvanus, and Timothy, to the church of the Thessalonians, in God the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ, grace to you and peace. We give thanks to God always for all of you, remembering you in our prayers unceasingly calling to mind your work of faith and labor of love and endurance in hope 
of our Lord Jesus Christ before our God and Father, knowing, brothers and sisters, loved by God, how you were chosen. For our gospel did not come to you in word alone, but also in power and in the Holy Spirit and with much conviction. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Shine like lights in the world as you hold on to the word of life. Alleluia, alleluia. We have many God in our hearts and let us be what we proclaim the holy gospel. And the Lord be with you. And this is a reading from the holy gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. The Pharisees went off and plotted how they might entrap Jesus in speech. They sent their disciples to him with the Herodians, saying, Teacher, we know that you are a truthful man, and that you teach the way of God in accordance with the truth. And you are not concerned with anyone's opinion, for you do not regard a person's status. Tell us then, what is your opinion? Is it lawful to pay this census tax to Caesar or not? Knowing their malice, Jesus said, Why are you testing me, you hypocrites? Show me the coin that pays the census tax. Then they handed him the Roman coin. He said to them, Whose image is this, and whose inscription? They replied, Caesar's. At that he said to them, then repay to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, and to God what belongs to God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord. Our primary allegiance truly is not to a particular nation, or possibly even a kingdom, or an institution, but we know that our allegiance is truly to Almighty God. For we know that each and every one of us belong to Him, whose image that each and every one of us are made, and whose law is truly inscribed within our hearts. And we know that each and every one of us must truly give back to God what is His. Thus we know how we do that. We do it with our love. We do it with all of our first fruits. We do it with our very selves, and we do it in union with Christ himself. So my friends, again we open up our scripture passages week after week, and knowingly as we hear these scripture readings coming alive in our hearts, and whether we're reading them in the quietness of our own homes, each and every one of them speaks to us by what we need to do on a daily basis, what we need to do every week of our lives. And today, we know, is no different. For when we turn towards our first reading, the Lord says to his anointed Cyrus, that I've called you by name. And it's through Cyrus that all of us know that there is no other God besides the Lord. And we know by the mere fact of our own baptism, the Lord has called each and every one of us by name. We're made in his image and likeness. And we're to go forth and be those proclaimers of the good news each and every moment of our life's journey as we're here upon this earth until our final reward with him for all of eternity in heaven. Then, my friends, we turn towards our second reading. And what do we see here today? Well, we see Paul, Sabbath, and Timothy greeting those people in the church of Thessalonica. And how are they greeting them? With thanksgiving and with affirmation. And we know that in our lives, each and every one of us are to be thankful for everything that God has entrusted to us. And we affirm our brothers and sisters that surround us in their good deeds that they do for one another. And thus again, 
given us all that we have and all that we are, are we giving Him that total recognition in our lives, giving back to God what He has entrusted to us? Because we know that we cannot do it by our very selves. We need His loving hand. We need His guidance. We need His support in all that we do, in all that we say, and all that we are. So our question today is, are we giving our primary allegiance to our loving God and our Creator? We now offer our prayers to the One in whose image that we are made and whose law is inscribed truly in our hearts. We pray that all clergy may be strengthened and edified by the prayers of our Church throughout the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That all leaders of state may be guided by the Almighty in the just use of power. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Spirit may truly give hope to refugees and displaced persons without home or country. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That Christ may have a place in all of our hearts and homes of those who are gathered here on this day, let us pray to the Lord. That those who have died may rest eternally in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And we pray in special fashion today at this Mass for the Birmingham family whom this Mass is being offered. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We now pause in the silence of our hearts and on our own personal intentions. For these intentions we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of all goodness, hear and answer these prayers of those that you claim as your own. For we make all of our prayers through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord God. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquities. Cleanse me of all of my sin. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands. For the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Grant us, O Lord, we pray, a sincere respect for your gifts, that through the purifying action of your grace we may be cleansed by the very mysteries that we serve. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the waywardness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Blessed Virgin Mary. By the passion of the cross, he has freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. 
And so with all of the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by setting down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Leonard our Archbishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servants, the Birmingham family, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that the Birmingham family, who is united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him, in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. And at our Savior's command, and for by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not upon our sins, but upon the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will. 
who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. May this mingling of the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ truly bring us all to everlasting life. Amen. May the receiving of your body and blood, Lord Jesus Christ, not bring us to judgment and condemnation, but through your loving mercy, be for protection of mind and body and a healing remedy. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body of Christ and the blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life.
Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, we pray, that benefiting from participation in heavenly things, we may be helped by what you give us here in this present age, and prepared for the gifts that are eternal, through Christ our Lord. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of Heavenly Host, by the power of God, our trust in hell, Satan, and all of evil spirits, who crowd about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, in the gospel we hear, the voice of the Father telling us to listen to you. It is your voice that we heed, it is your way that we follow. It is your spirit who leads us into all truth. Look kindly upon your church and the Archdiocese of Hartford, and upon the work of our Archdiocese and Synod. We pray that through the Synod our souls may be stirred, and our hearts set on fire in order to bring new energy and zeal to the mission of our local church. May the Synod inspire us to missionary discipleship, so that filled with the faith and the boldness of the Apostles and those first Christians, we may draw others to you as your body and bride, the Church. At Pentecost, Mary, your mother, joined the Apostles in imploring the gifts of the Holy Spirit. By your prayers and those of her spouse, St. Joseph, our baby, may the same Holy Spirit inspire and direct us and the work of our synod. Through you, Lord Jesus, we give glory to the Father in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless each one of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, our Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. You have a beautiful week and stay safe. And just remember to leave your kneelers down where you've been sitting so we can sterilize those pews before our next Mass.